So how do I successfully navigate the Medicaid application process to get a paid caregiver? Listen, if that's your only question, stick around with me to the very end. And I promise, I promise you're going to know all that and more. All right, here we go. How you doing today? My name is Kayan Church. For those of you who don't know me, you know what I mean? Those of you who know me, some of y'all call me Mr. KC. You know, you say, say it sounds a lot easier. So uh, I want to break it down to you today because, you know, I, I try to come on here every day and give you a, a, a video on the best tips and tricks to go ahead and navigate through that good Medicaid process, you know. And um, somebody asked me yesterday, they called me up and said, KC, uh, can you check on my eligibility? I said, yeah. So I called, made a phone call. They wasn't in. So they said, well, how do I get in? That's easy enough. You want to know how to get into the Medicaid long-term health care program so you can get a paid caregiver? I know all that. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I walk people from the from the outside to the inside. We, we bring them right on in the fold, and then we give them the best, uh -huh, you know, uh, caregiver program that we, that we got. All right? So... If you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know what I mean? I want to hear from you. You know, like this video if you found it helpful, if you find it helpful. You know what I mean? If you don't find it helpful, don't like it. You know what I mean? You know, it's, it's all gravy, however you find it. You know, uh, leave a comment below with your questions and thoughts. If you got a comment and I'm on the air and you're too scared to leave it in the, in the, uh, in the box, 302-689-3240. All you got to do is reach out by text. You know what I mean? I got my little cell phone right here. And, uh, you know, I'll pick it up and answer that for you. All right? Make sure to subscribe so you can join this conversation every day and share it with those people that you know that may need this conversation. You know what I mean? You know, uh, you know, not for nothing. You know, I know a guy, you know, on the couch, take care of his mom every day, finding a hard time to make a living you know, pass this information on to them. It's like life changing. You'd be actually be surprised. Life changing. So look, three steps to getting into the Medicaid long-term health care program. Before I even say that, I'm going to just let you know, how do you get a paid caregiver? Everybody with Medicaid in the long-term health care program is qualified for a paid caregiver. All right. Say that one more time. Everybody in Medicaid or everybody has Medicaid insurance in the long-term health care program. Sometimes they call it LTSS. They're eligible for a paid caregiver. So don't be afraid. People say, well, what do I got to do once I'm already in there? Just tell them that's what you want because you're eligible. You feel me? So look, we're going to go through, uh, if you're not eligible, how to go ahead and get into this thing. All right. They text me. I like that. I like that. They doing what I say every now and then the thing works, man. You know what I mean? They, they don't want nothing, but it's all good. They, they listening. So look, three steps to getting into the Medicaid LTSS process. The first step is turn in your application. Can't get nowhere without an application. You know what I mean? People got to know who you are. If you got Medicaid, if you don't have Medicaid, you still need to turn in an application. The starting point is the starting point. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to go over what you got to do once you turn your application in. But the main thing is, guess what? Fill out an application. All right? So this is what I do. I tell people, you know, we've been operating since before the times of COVID. So, you know what I mean? I kind of uh, I kind of know how to navigate this thing. So I, I tell people uh, straight up, what you need to do is call there and ask them, can you start this application over the phone? That's what I do. You know what I mean? I got some clients. I, I call them. I say, look, man, you know, my client can't make it in there. You know, can we start the application over the phone? Now, it's one of two things they're going to tell me. That's either yes or no. You know, nine times out of ten since COVID is over, they usually say no. But this is what I say. Look, I want you to put it on record that, uh, you know, church is coming in to fill this application out because we need to get him into the program. Oh, you want your name on record. You know what I mean? That way we can we can build a paper trail. We 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 got something to follow. You know what I mean? When it comes time for me to make a phone call, they say, Oh, yeah, he did call on a knife. And um, you know, we seen or we didn't see him or, or, or whatever. But I need you to know 
that we bout our work and 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 we need this. So stop playing. All right. So okay. Uh now that it's like 2023, they got this thing called uh called the internet. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know that, right? So you know, here in our town, they got a link that they can send you, and you can do it right over your phone. Very easy. Very easy. Now, it's it's like a telephone book. I don't know if you'll ever apply for Medicaid. So it's like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be rough either way. Paper application, whether you do it over the internet, it's gonna be rough either way. But what I what I can tell you is it's gonna be a little faster. Number one, you ain't gotta wait on the application to come through the mail, you can go right to your phone now. My pop 80 years old, he can't do that. He don't even got no cell phone. You know what I'm saying? He he don't got no smartphone and the cell phone that he got, I don't think he can really navigate that. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're in that kind of situation, maybe you got a loved one that can help you out with that. You know, if not, you know, tell him, look, man, just send me a paper application. You know what I mean? But do what you got to do. Filling out the application is the very first step to getting you a paid caregiver. All right. So, Fill the application out. Here's where the special magic come in at. All right. So uh, it's three things that they're looking for when you fill out the the the, uh, the application. The very first thing is they're looking for a doctor recommendation. All right. So what's this really mean? Okay. You fill out the application. You want to get into the program, uh, the LTSS program, uh, aka long term health care program, or you want to get in the Medicaid itself, what they're going to do is they're going to need a doctor recommendation. Now, what's the doctor recommendation? That's where the guy that you go see, your PCP regularly, hopefully you're going regular, he's going to say whether you whether he feels like this is going to be a benefit or not for you. Now, if you're going to see the doctor regular, why wouldn't he, uh, why wouldn't he say that? Because he don't really care as long as you keep coming there and you're spending your money with him and, and you're paying them co-pays. He don't care. He's going he gonna to do it for you. All right? So what I tell people is uh, beginning of the year, well, let's say, let's say you're filling out the application tomorrow. You're watching the video today, you're filling out the application tomorrow. Make sure you don't owe this man no co-pays. You know what I mean? If you haven't been to see him all year, make sure you make the next available appointment to go see him. And why do I say that? Don't nobody want to help you if they're not getting none. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably the only guy to do that. You know what I mean? So the doctor is really going to want your co-pays to be paid up. You know what I mean? If he if he gave you any referrals, he he gonna want them fees. He he gonna want all that before he speak highly of you. And guess what? You really need this. You need this paid caregiver. You know you you tired of uh, asking people for stuff. You know what I'm saying? You 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 would like to have somebody paid to give you a little stability so you can get your uh what do they call it uh not freedom? What's the word they use uh so you can get your independence back? You know what I'm saying? Now the caregiver is gonna do that for you. So you gotta have. The doctor on board. Now, fortunate enough for like uh, dudes like my pop, we got the doctor on lock. You know what I mean? Doctor love us. You know, once every year, once every six months, we go see him just, hey, how you doing? Give him a high five. Put that $15 copay into his into his hand. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and why do we do that? Because we need his good graces in times like this. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, what I do is I call him up and I'll be like, yo, doc, we try and get my pop into this program, man. You know, uh, so, you know, when the people call you, you know what I'm saying? Do us a favor and, uh, you know, tell them that we need this because we need it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to have no problem with that. He know what time it is. He know you're trying to get a paid caregiver, man. Look, the doctor's like your best friend in this situation. He He's going to be the one to advocate for you. You know what I mean? If, if you and him got beef, he's going to be the one to be like, nah, he don't need it. <laughs> I remember one time we went to Disney World and uh I had rented this one of them electric scooters every day for my pop, you know what I'm saying? So I'm spending like a hundred dollars a day renting this scooter for the dude. And um, you know, I go to the doctor when we get back. I said, Man, this is a good investment, man. Let me let me talk to the doctor. And uh I asked the doctor, not the same doctor that I'm with now, because we I got popped with a good doctor. Now I had this old Bobo dude out on a uh, silver side rule. He, he costs a lot of money, but he wasn't effective. I, I wish I could say his name on the wire because he's a sucker. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother story. So when I gave him the paperwork, he was like, you know, he was grilling pop. Like why you need this and this and that. And I'm like, the man can barely walk. Like you going to sign off on this joint or not. So, you know, 
you got to be on a good relationship with the people that you need. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, one hand wash the other, two hands wash the face, man. And, and it's a lot of stuff that, you know, you just can't get without these good people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you got a bad doctor, you know, cut the zero, get with you a hero. You know what I mean? That's 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 what that story was about. But, uh, you know, you want to call the doctor. You want to you want to you want to put him on the game man. you want to tell him, like, look, man, this is what we need you to do. We need you to recommend this for us. And and, and he probably ain't going to have no problem. He's going to say, sure, church. All your co-pays is paid, man. You know what I mean? I like you, man. You know what I mean? You, you, you're a good dude, man. Let me let me help you out and sign off on that thing. Bam. Simple as that. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now that we got the uh, doctor recommendation out of the way, the number two uh, piece to this is your financial determination. Really, it's like they call it your financial eligibility. All right. Now, if you're in Medicaid, I don't want you to sweat this because people always be like, oh, man, I don't want to give them all my info and I got to tell them everything and they want to know how many bank accounts I got and how many cars I got and this and that. Listen, I'm going to tell you a secret. If you already in Medicaid, they know everything. You know what I mean? They already know how many bank accounts you got. They already know how many cars you got. They already know how much money you're bringing in. They know everything. Don't be afraid to tell them. They already know. You see know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid. Now, if you're not in Medicaid and this is something that you need, don't be afraid to tell them, man, because, you know, you're going to have to be an open book. Transparency transparency is everything, man. Them $10 words is, is strong. You know, but transparency is everything, man. So you're going to want people to know, you know, what time it is, man. And and I know that y'all know I need this, man, because, you know, uh, hey, man, this is this is this is where I'm at. I can't afford to pay for no caregiver. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it like that, man. Don't have it be like, uh, you know. Oh, man, I don't want to tell these people like tell them everything, man. Tell them everything. This is for you, man. This is for you, for your best interest. Just comply with them. It ain't, it ain't it ain't no biggie, man. I mean, you know, they already know, homie. Like, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you a uh, I'm gonna give you a pro tip. <laughs> if you want them to know fast, you don't want them be you don't want them be guessing. First of all, because everything is done in a, in a finite amount of time, and we already know Medicaid gonna have you on some hurry up and wait. So we don't want to hurry up and wait any longer. What you want to do is. You want to get somebody or you want to go to the bank physically, get a copy of your bank statement and, and, and boom, give it to them. Give it to them, man. Let them know, yo, this is what it's hitting for, man. They, they, you know, make it easy on them. If they got to do a lot of work and this and that and, you know, checking you out and all that, it's going to take some time. Man, you know what I mean? You, 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 you begging people now to help you out. Yo, bring me by a sandwich when you come by the house today. Yo, can you do this? Yo, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Would you mind? Listen, you want to stop all that. And guess what? When you get some money, that's going to be the stability to pay that paid caregiver. And you ain't going to have to go through these problems no more. So just trust me. You know what I mean? You may not believe me, but just trust me. Just trust me. All right. So get them whatever information they need. Get them whatever information they need. You know what I mean? Hey, man, you, you need bank statements. You know what I mean, you know, I don't know what I don't know what else they could need other than that. But you know, make sure they got it and make sure they got it in a timely fashion. All right. Now, step three or part three, because you know it's three parts to after you fill out this application. Uh, the third part is my favorite part. It's called the interview. Now, why do I like this part so much? Because now they get to talk to me. You know what I mean? They get to talk to me. Look, I'm the one put the application in, man. I think y'all need to hear what I got to say. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, man. Now's the time where you get to be you. You get to tell them everything, man. You, you Listen, check this out, man. I need this caregiver. And boom, 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 this is why. You understand what I'm saying? Excuse me. Um, Don't let them shake you with this interview part. It's not really like a pass or fail they just want to hear it from you. You know what I mean? You already in. You know what I mean? You, you 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 got the doctor to sign off. You know what I'm saying? They got your financial record straight. You know what I mean? They, they, they have deemed you to be eligible. All right? Y'all like that word, right? They deemed you to be eligible. Everything else is good, man. Everything else is good. They just want to hear from you. They didn't heard it from your doctor. They didn't heard it from the bank. They, they You know, all they want to do is let you seal the deal. You know? So now, what do you tell them? Awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome. Now, look, had to had to uh, uh, I was fortunate to be able to help a lady on Monday. Today's Wednesday. On Monday, I helped a lady out and uh, I got her into the she, I didn't get her into the program. I'm sorry. What I did was uh, I got her over to our agency. And, um, you know, she was getting a raw deal from another agency. You know, they wasn't really treating her good. You know, her hours sucked. You know what I mean? She 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 really wasn't uh, able to secure a, 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 a paid caregiver for that many hours during the course of the day. But it was all because of, uh, you know, how, how the cards had fell down and how the other company she was with, you know, really dropped the ball on her. So I told her, this is what we're going to do. You know what I mean? Called the case manager and I told her, I said, look, uh, you know, the young lady would like to come to our service, you know? So she said, well, that's cool. She said, but look, number one thing I got to do, I got to go out there and I got to make an assessment and then, you know, I can, I can, I can put her on to y'all. Hey, no problem. Uh, let me know when it's done. Cause we, we, we looking forward to seeing that, uh, to seeing that authorization. You understand what I'm saying? She said, all right, Casey, that's cool. Click up. Now, what do I do? I called a lady up. I said, look, the lady coming out there, this your chance. This is like your interview. Now, it wasn't an interview to get into the program, but it was an interview with her case manager. And her case manager is the one that determines the hours. Her case manager is the one that determines how much need she really has. People ask me all the time, KC, if I get into the program, how many hours are they going to give me? They're not going to give you but one or two unless you open up your mouth. And then these lazy case managers, they don't really want to do nothing. They don't want to do nothing. Like, like, okay, it's a certain threshold of hours that they can give you without having to do any paperwork. You know what I'm saying? But like, unless you think like 10 hours a week is going to help you out, like, I don't know what anybody going to come and do for you for two hours a day. You know what I'm saying? It might take you, it take my pop three hours to get out the bathroom every day. <laughs> Straight up, man. So I don't know. You know, maybe you could bust 10 hours down a day, you know, five days a week, and then two days a week, you just stay in bed. I don't know if that works for you. But if that is not absolutely not going to work for you, you need to do what I'm telling you to do right now. What you want to do is you want to get your pen and your paper out, right? Now, when I say this, people be listening, but they don't be doing it. They don't be doing it. Follow the path to success, and you're going to win. You follow somebody else's path, I don't know how it's going to make out for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe you're going to win. Maybe you're not going to win. But if you do what I tell you, you 1,000% going to win. And it's only 100 pieces in that percent. And you, so you, 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 you like, you destined to hit the moon messing around with KC. All right. So what you want to do, you want to get your handy dandy notebook out. You know what I'm saying? And you want to uh, write down everything that you do during the course of the day. You know what I'm saying? I get up six o'clock. This is my personal schedule. I don't know about y'all, but I get up like six o'clock, brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, lay my clothes out probably before I took the shower. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, get 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 my get my underwear, socks, uh, 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 uh whatever else I got I got to put on. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe that fresh death cologne that Dougie Fresh was talking about. I don't know. Whatever it is that you do, write it down, and also write down how the person is going to help you. You know, shoot, I need uh I need my son little Johnny to 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 uh to do this. I need him to do that. He helps him with this. He helps me with that. I can't get I can't get off the toilet after I, after I'm done. He got to get me up, get me into the shower chair. You got to write all this down. And the reason why I say that is because the case manager know, but they don't really care. They don't really care about you. I'm the only one here helping you. It's obvious about that, right? So what you need to do is listen up, all right? Write down everything that they're doing for you. Uh, when you get to this interview, talk. Don't be afraid to talk, all right? Look, hashtag live if you're with me right now on the live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're with me in the rebroadcast. Listen, if your mission is to find a paid caregiver, simple and stress-free, this is what you need to do. If you believe in what we're doing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, do what you got to do. Your support helps us reach more and more people every day, believe it or not. You know what I mean? And, and what I love to do is to help people. So get that good list together, do what you got to do, write it all down. You may, you may, you, you might come up with like five pages, man. And then you're going to be thoroughly surprised. Like, wow, I didn't even realize I needed that much help. But it's cool because now you know what to tell the people when they get to you. 
You know what I'm saying? And don't don't sweat the interview. They're not gonna make you come in. They're not gonna make. They're gonna come right to you. Excuse me. They're gonna come right to you. They're gonna figure out what your needs are. Like I said, all they want to do is hear it from you. Uh, you know, simple as that, man. I, I don't really even know like how much more I can tell you. All you gotta do is listen. All you gotta do is listen. Write down everything that you need help with. Convey it to the people. And listen, the one thing I need you to know with this, on top of the pro tip that I just gave, the one pro tip that you need to know, closed mouths don't get fed. They don't get fed. Because if you, you know, like I'm going to tell you, my mom, when she was alive, you know, I would take her places and she'd be like, I don't need no help. We looking like, who you talking to? <laughs> you know, you listen, lady, you know you need some help. Don't even like, don't even start that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, tell them everything, mom. We ain't trying to be coming back. You know what I'm saying? We need some help. You know what I mean? We need help. We need all the help we can get. Listen, so I need to, I need the people to put me down in the books. Like, oh my God, he need a million hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hook us up. And it ain't no thing because they, you know, it's coming from Medicaid. It ain't like you hurting nobody by getting more hours or tell them everything that you need. You need this. You need this little bit of help, man. You know what I'm saying? And you need you need to have a paid caregiver that can get paid so you can get some stability and you can get the help that you need, that you want, that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Anything else is uncivilized, baby. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So look, man, if you picking up what I'm putting down, man, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, hit me on whatever uh, social media platform you're watching this from. Let me know, KC, you talking that real stuff. Or KC, you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you've been through this whole application process, you know what I'm saying? Let other people know. Put it right down in the comment. Let other people know. Like, man, this is it, man. This this dude know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all know, and y'all probably don't know if y'all haven't been through the uh through the Medicaid long-term health care application process. But Mr. KC official tissue, man, I done brought hundreds of people through the fold. In these past 10 years, man, we've been rocking. We've been rocking. Now, if you need any help, man, and you need a guy like me, call me, 302-689-3240. If you don't like to talk on the phone and you just like to text message, text me, 302-689-3240. You know, uh, if, if you get your case manager or if you get Medicaid on the phone and you're getting tongue-tied or they trying to hit you with some old, you don't know what you're talking about, call me on a three-way. 302-689-3240. Had a lady from another state had Medicaid on the phone. Me and her, I had already told her what to do. I said, look, they're going to try to throw you a couple, uh, you know, monkey wrenches in the plan. <laughs> if you need, I, I told her, I told her straight up. First of all, you're not in Delaware, so I can't really help you. But at the same time, I can't talk for you, but I can definitely talk with you. I don't even mind helping you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I help people. You know what I mean? I, hey, I ain't got no problem with that. Call me while you got them uh, jokers on the phone, and uh, I'll break it down to them. Listen. Uh, yeah. And, and I tell you, know, I tell them, hey, look, I'm, 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 a, I'm a close family friend. Uh, this is what we need. you either going to put it together or you're not. You know what I mean? But at the same time, we want to move forward with some stuff. You know what I mean? So call me, reach out, text, whatever you got to do, 302-689-3240. You know what I mean? And uh, if you're the caregiver, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, look out for other people like you look out for yourself, maybe even better. You know what I mean? We're we doing this to get our blessings. You know what I'm saying? So, look, if you want to stay updated on everything that you need to know about getting a paid caregiver, click the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with anybody that you think might need it. Your support helps us grow. And uh, you part of the reliably caregiver uh, team man officially you you part of the community man because we love you especially if you watch this video to the end man you know what i'm saying <laughs> i love you i gotta go i gotta go pick pop up holler at you in a minute call me if you need me 302-689-3240 look man i had them people straighten out for you fast you know what i mean f-a-s-s -S -S, no t you know what i mean nothing to stop us <laughs> all right i love you peace